What attracted me to dietetics um, was my love of science. Uh, dietetics is a really good combination of talking to people, food and science. I really loved music when I was younger and when I found out about music therapy as a way to use music to help people, uh, I just found it was a perfect combination. I actually had an experience when I was um, a teenager where I was being, um, doing a lot of swimming training and got nasty knee pain and the doctor told me that I wouldn't be able to swim again and then a physio said, oh, I could fix your knee pain and she applied some magic tape and it fixed it. So I wanted to be a physio after that. Um, just the idea of being able to help people and really help improve their quality of life. For me it was about sharing my passion for recreation and leisure with other people and allowing them the opportunity to explore their own interests as well. Well I like helping people and advocating for people. When I was travelling overseas I realised how important it was to be able to communicate effectively um, with everyone that you meet, it's really important for your quality of life and you know, who doesn't love eating and drinking safely? I actually was watching Grey's Anatomy <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I think one of the doctors was doing radiation therapy to a patient I was like, oh that's pretty cool. I like being a physio to help people um, and that no day is ever the same. I also really like that it's an active job. What we find in brain research is that we all respond to music uh, and being able to use that effectively in therapy uh, is often surprising for people and even I still get astounded with the ways that music can very quickly and effectively help people. The diversity, you see so many different kinds of people and meet with them at totally different places in their lives. I like the fact that my profession has structured flexibility. I like the fact that it's interactive with people, responsive to people, helps people, but has a strong diagnostic element to it as well as a rehab element to it. It's a very challenging profession. Um, we get to problem solve uh, quite a lot and all the time uh, as every patient's very different. The best part about being a pharmacist is when you see a patient, they've had a horrible diagnosis and come away with all these medications and you're able to explain what each of them does and they feel comfortable going home and taking them. Yeah, I feel like you're a bit of a medical translator. I organised a wedding for one of my patients. Um, he was dying and his wish was to renew his wedding vows and it was a really, really special day and he got his dying wish. There was one patient that I helped who'd had a brain injury and her voice was quite changed. She had a different accent and a different pitch to her voice. So I used a technique called vocal intonation therapy and through singing exercises we helped her retain what she felt was her original voice. Working with patients after big gastro surgeries so um, first putting them on intravenous nutrition in ICU um, and then transitioning them maybe to some tube feeds and then slowly working with the patients back to their oral diet as they recover from their surgery. Patients that have um, a lot of difficulty with managing their behaviour and their emotions so that might be something that's something sometimes quite confronting to see. Uh, working uh, in an ICU setting with um, patients who have got spinal cord injuries um, and when they're weaning off the ventilator and coming off life support and the process that goes on there and so the role that physio has to play in that is pretty interesting. On the spinal unit I was working with someone with a high level injury who uh, wanted to learn a new musical instrument and uh, we ended up helping him get some lessons and learn the mouth organ. He held a concert on the ward which everyone really loved and um, with physio it actually increased his lung capacity. I enjoy never getting bored. I think there's always something interesting to do in dietetics, um, whether it's the interesting patients we see or always being involved in some new and exciting research. The best part of my job is the people I work with. I think in public health generally, um, as an allied health professional, you work with people who are just tremendous. They are focused on their job, they're smart, and yeah, coming to work with these people yeah, it makes bad days good. The best part of my job as a music therapist is seeing results for patients. As a dietitian, you do get lots of different opportunities. Mm. So not just working in hospitals, you can work in private practice and also in um, at, for food service companies. So 
um, it also gives you the opportunity to travel Absolutely. as well and experience the world and different life experiences. We get to hear people share their very, very personal stories. I've often had people tell me very, very personal things which they haven't even shared with their own family and I think that's a privilege. Watching patients take their first steps, absolutely incredible, it's such a good feeling. At the end of the day when I look back and, and realise that there's been a change for somebody, I've been able to help them, uh, that makes me feel like I've done something worthwhile in the day. It's really nice to know that nutrition can play a really important role in getting them through that tough time in their life. Every patient is somebody's family, somebody's daughter or somebody's mother or somebody's son. So I always think of them as my grandma or something and what would I want their care to be when they're in hospital and how would I want to help them. Seeing the satisfaction in their face when, um, or in their loved one's face when they've first been able to communicate. So I don't know, if you want to compare it to a baby's first word or um, when someone can start to actually talk again after they've had a neurological event. What I really love about helping people is, is helping their families and the um, patient communicate to each other for the patient to be able to tell their families that they love them. Here yeah, to help people get back to a good life, not just a life. It's very satisfying being able to make a difference and reassure somebody so they can go go home and manage what they're doing. Yeah, you feel great. It gives you a warm, fuzzy feeling when you're actually helping people. They come to the window with complicated conditions. You can make real, real changes to their lifestyle. Warm and fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> I get to go home and tell all my friends and family all the cool things that I did at work and what I get to go back and do tomorrow, so it's pretty awesome. Because oh, they often pay you in chocolates, which is always nice. And I even got flowers today as well, so that was lovely as well. And that's not the motivation to do it, but um, it is nice to get um, appreciated, I suppose. I'm obviously doing it wrong. <laughs> <laughs>